Taking the humans out of warfare is a dangerous, dangerous thing. So where do I think we're going? I think there's a blend. I'm a fan of human machine teaming. You know, there's an opportunity here for us to be able to gain an edge and have the humans on the loop and the humans sort of managing a formation rather than having a human each in each cockpit of that formation. Being able to understand the things that the human needs to be able to guide and direct in quarterback. I think that's there. I think also, as we're looking for edge in warfare, rather than just turning it all over to machines, this I'm, 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 a, I'm a wearable tech guy. I'm addicted to this stuff. I love it. And there's opportunities here for technology to, to improve our performance. You know, there are things that I'm reading on my ring and on my watch that are available that can tell me when I'm fatigued before I get that I'm fatigued, that understand when I'm task saturated before I know it. So there's a way where the machine can actually help you be at your best performance and not be overdoing or underdoing. I think it's exciting. And there was a person senior to me in the last couple of years who said, hey, you know, all the, all the pilots are going to hate this. They're going to hate this and they're going to fight you on it. And well, maybe some of the old crusty pilots. Yeah. But y'all are from a culture of gaming and it's competitive. You still want to be the best at whatever you do. And if that means in a gaming like situation, you're operating your own cockpit and you're managing X amount of these collaborative combat aircraft and you're better than him or her, and you're winning, that competitive spirit still comes true. So I think there's a great opportunity for better integration, for better human-machine teaming, but I don't see it tipping over to be a one or a zero for all those reasons. Thank you, Zach.